I just feel like. Wait, last time we saw each other, we were boxing. Boxing. Okay. And now you're in Sports Illustrated again. I mean, it's kind of like if you're a rookie, you're in. If you're on the cover, you're in. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. A double dose. Hello. So, I mean, is this like the thing now where you just run fashion? You just, anything you want to do, anything you've ever said, anything you've ever said, there's no way I'll be able to do that. Now you're just doing it, right? Well, I will say that the cover of Sports Illustrated and the cover of Vogue were on my vision board. Really? Yes. You made vision boards? Yes, that's my whole message. You know, speak what you want, make it your truth, and it will come true. It took me two years. It took the vision board that I still have up two years. And that doesn't matter because patience will bring you so much more. You can't hurry things up. You know, it's not it's not our timing. So at the end of the day, this, this was all supposed to happen with patience. I love it. I love it for you too. Thank you. Because, you know, you, people talk about. I hope she doesn't get a big head. I hope she doesn't. I hope she doesn't change. I hope she. But you don't strike me as the kind of person. My mama wouldn't let me. <laughs> my saying? husband would be like, "Who do you think you hey, are?" Hey, 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 now, hey. hey. So no, I keep my. Uh, I keep very amazing people around me, um, and and they keep me humble. What is the thing, though? I mean, you you we. We're seeing now this shift. We've talked about it for the last couple of years. We're seeing now more and more this shift in the fashion industry yes. where it's no longer, I mean, you walked in the Michael Kors show. I know, it was it wasn't, it wasn't like, oh, here's Ashley Graham, plus size model walking for Michael Kors. It was, it was like, featuring. First ever plus size model to walk in Michael Kors. No. That was incredible. Like, Cause he's always carried plus size clothes. Yeah. He's always gone up to like an 18 or 20. And and for him to be like, you know what? I'm gonna let everybody know that not only do I just carry the clothes, I represent them. I, I want them to know that they are included. And that's exactly what it, you put a curves on the runway, it lets everybody know what your next step is. And so when you're walking down that runway for the first time, what's in your head? What's in your, what's going through? Oh, I was freaking out. Were you really? Oh my God, I was freaking out. Okay, so Bella Hadid was right behind me, right? And her and I are friends. And I was like, girl, I was like grabbing on there. I was like, girl, I don't know what to do. I'm afraid. And they were, and I was like, I don't know if I should walk fashion. I don't know if I should walk sexy. Because fashion is like, don't move the hips. Don't move the hips. And huh, these hips. They move. They, they jiggle. Mean, they got a rhythm. They got a swoosh, swoosh, right? Yes. So I was like, do I do sexy or do I do like fashion? So she said, just be yourself. And I was like, oh my God, I, I have to take some of my own medicine, right? Yeah. And Bella had to like, you know, give me a little bit of it back. It was so nice to have her there. Carolyn Murphy was two um, people ahead of me and she's like, it's so rad that you're here. This is amazing. So it was like girl power back there. And everybody was rooting for one another. They all knew it was like my first big show. And afterwards everybody was like, you did a great job. I mean, big girls. Kendall came up to me. Kendall Jenner was like, great job. And I was like, get the hell out of here. I'm one of the girls. I'm, I'm like an it girl.